Heat for the Red Moon is not intended for children and contains mature themes and scenes of intense violence. Finally. Now Sharver is here. Apologies for taking so long, Nantar Jizozo. The journey is long for us, and we wanted to be sure that your messenger was cared for before we left. No troubles, old friend. You're here now. How are you, though, Torn? We haven't spoken in some time. <clears throat> I think we should skip the pleasantries, Walt Chitso. I'd like to get straight to the matter at hand. Of course. There hasn't been a meeting of leaders in Seer since I was just an heir. Why have you summoned us, Nunter? There was an execution in Tavender two sons ago. Akit killed another in cold blood, and she claimed to have killed him in the name of the Spider King. That's impossible. There's no way anyone other than the six of us can know about him. He's not strong enough to summon the living to his own realm. You think I would lie about something this serious? If he returns to power, it could be the end of life in the crater as we know it. I'm sure that Volt didn't mean it like that. Now you have to admit that this news is shocking. He hasn't made a move in generations. Keeping his memory alive with only a few of us appeased him for so long. Why is he deciding to emerge now? I don't know. But I propose we do something about it. If we don't tell our heirs about him, we erase him from everyone's memories, once and for all. Are you crazy? That will only anger him more! We don't have a choice! One of my Keeper is dead due to his influence. If he's on the move, then six Keeper remembering him could be too many. I know it's a risky move, but if we decide not to tell our heirs about him now, he'll be forgotten within a generation. No more Keeper will have to die in his name. There's always a choice. I know you're worried, Wolt, but I think Nantar has a point. Why don't we bring it to a vote? Fine. All those in favor of ending the Spider King's reign of terror for good? It's settled then. The Spider King dies with us. The sun will be setting soon, Torn. Should I go tell the cubs? <laughs> they won't be cubs anymore after tonight, Heron Call. <laughs> they grow up so fast, don't they? It feels like they were all so small just a few suns ago. And now, they're all grown up, and about to pick out their names. Time passes most quickly with those we care about. I'm sure they're all very excited to share their new names with us. Go ahead and go find them. Let them know it's almost time. <coughs> Try to keep up, Z. I didn't think you'd be this slow. Come on, Dink. You... You know climbing is my weakness. If this was a sparring match, I would have already won. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you would. Shut up. You know it's true. <laughs> well, I think you're just a sore loser. I am not. Fight me right now and I'll prove it to you. No, I don't want you to embarrass yourself that much. Z, Dink, is that you two up there? Hey, Hironko, what's up? Can the two of you help me gather your friends? Your ceremony is going to be starting soon. Of course. We'll make sure everyone's there on time. Bet I can get cheated the village before you can bring Fior and Chiant. You find one and I find two. Won't count as a victory if the odds aren't fair, Z. Oh, come on. You know Fior and Chiant will be hanging out together somewhere. They've been inseparable lately. Maybe you just don't want to race because you're scared I'll beat you. Oh, you're so on! Chi! Are you out there? Z! Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. Is everything okay? Yeah, but it's almost sunset. Our naming ceremony is going to be starting soon. Kier! I lost track of time again! I've just been watching the Northbirds. I think it's the same couple that came through here last cycle. <laughs> How can you tell? They're all white. They look exactly the same. 
Well, one of them has a shorter tail and darker beak compared to the other. So did the ones last time. I can't believe you noticed something like that, honestly. Uh, but hey, we have to get going. The village is kind of a long walk from here, but we can still make it if we hurry. Oh, and we have to make it there before Dink does. Are you two competing again? <laughs> Always. I'm gonna keep beating them until they finally admit that I'm the more skilled Kate. <laughs> you know, that's never going to happen. You're both way too stubborn. Just you wait. It's gonna happen one of these days. No, oh, uh, sorry, Jean. I hit a snag. You're lucky you don't have the bridge of a leader yet. Or this would be a lot harder. Huh, <laughs> yet? Yeah, right. As if I'll ever be a leader. Well, Torin is getting old, and since Dad is an heir, and you're his closest kin, it's not exactly impossible. Whoever ends up being the other heir under Dad will get to be leader. I don't want it, and it's not like I'd win the vote anyways. I'm just saying you should prepare yourself for the possibility. I know I have, and my chances are way slimmer than yours. Especially considering that we've collectively decided you're definitely immortal. You don't count. You plan for everything. And I am not. Well, you are one of the only ones who's gotten the coughing and recovered. So as far as I can tell, the gods have decided that you're much too important to die. <laughs> I wish Aya had recovered. Oh. Um, as long as we remember her, she'll be alright. I miss her. Sio says that they've spoken to her in visions, and that she misses us too. Hey guys! <gasps> What's a vatsu, Dink? You nearly scared the fur off of us! <laughs> sorry, sorry, didn't mean to. The naming ceremony is starting soon. Your dad sent me to come get you guys. We were about to head back to the village in a moment anyways, but thanks for the reminder. No problem. Don't do that. I'm not a leader. day. Oh, hey, Katie. I've been climbing around looking for Chi. Have you seen- I missed you this morning. You didn't even come say hi to me before you left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Well, I'm sure you were just excited for tonight, so I forgive you. I can hardly believe my naming ceremony was only two moon cycles ago. It feels like I've been Keeny my whole life. Yeah, um, so have you seen Dink around by any chance? No, I haven't. Looks like I won this round, Dink. Only by a little moment. And only because Chain refused to run on the way here. Sorry I don't want to be part of you two's stupid cub competitions. Well, I think somebody here is just being a sore loser. Ah, good. You're all here. Just in time. Are you all ready? <coughs> Go on, then. It's time to tell everyone what names you've chosen. I wish your Aya was here. The coughing has taken so much. Fifam was your Aya too. Just as much as you're my sister. You know it doesn't matter who you were born to. Do you think she'd like our plan? I know she would. Norshaver, my friends, my family, kneeling in front of us are the five young Kiedfer, who, until tonight, have been seen as the young of the Norshaver nation. Over the past two season cycles, we have known them as Z, Chi, Dink, Chint, and Fire, the names that were given to them by their ayahs, their caretakers. But now, as their manes are shaved off along with their status as cubs, they will tell us their true names, the names that they have chosen for themselves, the names that they will carry for the rest of their lives. But more than that, 
These young Kiedfer are here to bring us new hope. I know that our nation has suffered much sickness and death these past seasons. I carry that weight of each and every kid we've lost in my mane. But the Kiedfer before me are proof that the Norshaver will live on. We will make it through this dark time and into a new era of strength and prosperity. But <laughs> enough rambling from me. This night is about the five of you. So, what names have you chosen for yourselves? My name is Kahohan, Wind from the Fire. I choose this name to honor my mother and Aya, Fifon. My name is Fifshen, Shy Cloud. I chose this name in honor of the Keet who raised me and became my Aya after my parents' passing, Fif Han. My name is Tonkoink, I see Fanged One. I choose this name to embrace my flaws as strengths, not weaknesses. What's wrong, my love? I, I can't find him, Judd. I, he's gone, I... Vood, what happened? One of her sons. He's gone! <laughs> <laughs>